All right, freaky fingers. Well, I hope you don't have freaky fingers. Well, if we were in paper, it would freak me out. Yuriana's our companion. The one lander with one Utopia Small and two of our five drop droppers. Nope. Uh, two fetch lands interaction. We will keep this. We will put Valky in the, the deck because seven mana hardcast Valky, particularly against a potential deck that's going to go off here. Hmm. I wonder what this deck is. Right, we will play Windswept and pass the turn. Is this just a green Stompy deck, perhaps? Wait, does this have a green? Yeah, it does. Alright, lots... Lots of dorks. So he is... Oh, token as well. Hmm. And a dryad arbor. Go. Oh, if I could draw a land and find our clarion here, I would... I would be giddy. Okay. We'll get the Ketratome. Alright, so do we... Do we Assassin Trophy this now? Okay, let's see. Let's just see what he plays. I, I probably should have Assassin Trophy the Ley Line, but I kind of want to see what he's playing. Zero the Menagerie. You may look at the top card of your library at any point. You may cast it if it is a. Mm. Is it worth helixing here? I think it is worth helixing. So. They didn't play a second land, so I think here if we just grab a white source. Uh, we do not have a white source untapped because I've built this deck stupidly. Okay, do we maybe grab black then? We need black. So, should have got blue. Oh man, I am I am out of practice because I've had a few days off from playing this deck. Um, let's assassin's trophy the vizier because giving them one mana here isn't going to be the end of the world because. <sighs> They've got a ton of mana with the triple ley lines here, so like we cannot cast this now because I fetched like a fool. I should have got black blue, which I can't actually off that fetch land because I'm silly. And we drew our tap land, of course we did. Alright, so we're gonna try it like this. We're going to drop a Domri here. And we're going to plus. We need 
need to get a bring to light or something to just like board wipe the board here. So they could just put one one counters on everything here, but they would have to tap. Is it eight mana to activate the ley line? It is eight mana. They drew another vizier. <laughs> and an arboreal arch drew. Okay. So this is. Okay. Lots and lots of mana. Alright. Uh, we need. Uh, we die next turn, I think, just based on how much power they have here. Hit Domri, hit Domri, yes, okay, so that buys us. Well, we die next turn anyway, because we're not going to drop a Domri into a thing here. And of course we draw a Niv. Oh, of course we draw a Niv. We, as always, are not allowed to draw anything impactful. Okay. Get a red. Uh... Red, white. Cut off a little bit of his mana, maybe. Stay alive for a turn. Hopefully, he puts all his effort into killing Domri. And maybe we can draw a land or something to change the board state here. Anything impactful this game. Okay, nine mana is just gonna put counter on everything. Yep. Four, five, six, twelve, so not dead, dead. I even die here to clarion effect, won't work. Alright, it went straight at me, so... Only hope here is that we top deck Supreme Verdict. That is Utopia Swirl, which is not going to do it. My god, wow. Oh, there's a pillar of the Peru, there's a bring to light. Okay, so... Fatal pushes come in. Blaze and Clarion come in. Dovin's Veto is pointless. And Mordigo really won't do anything. We'll go down one Omnath, Domri, and. We would another Domri, I think. As good as he was. As good as he is, it, we need creatures really in play for him to utilize properly. Maybe we should add him in the hero deck. Alright, this will work. So, he'll keep seven and have two ley lines, because I'm psychic. of the previous match was thinking about it. If I had fetched correctly and been able to Prismari command on curve, I probably would have been able to do something. Alright, we are going to put red here. Ok, 
Okay. Land of Elves. So we are just gonna kill everything he plays. Starting with this elf. We're not gonna let him get ahead on any mana. So we need blue and black. Blue and black. Blue and black, there we go. Okay. Uh, and then we draw black. So we could Caius Guile or we couldn't hear it here. I kind of like the feeling of Nahiri here, just to start gaining us some advantage, not advantage, but uh, so if we plus, I'm happy to get rid of Assassin's Trophy here, uh, I'm not happy to get rid of Assassin's Trophy now that I drew a planes. Okay, that was problematic. Okay, Elvis Arch Druid. Alright, so we're gonna have to do it this way. So we're gonna exile this. And then we are going to Kaya's guy. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then we will sacrifice a creature, create us a thing. We are just gonna keep as many of his creatures down as possible. Here he's actually good considering every creature he wants to play here. Okay, yep, we are going to discard. Uh, temple Garden because we have some things. Alright, this is good. We can now drop an Omnath. Alright, drop Omnath. Omnath enters and immediately draws us a card. We're not going to have anything else to cast, so we'll just play a land here and gain four life because. <laughs> because why is it four life? I, I'm not complaining here, but why is it four life? Planes. We'll just drop another land, gain more life. We'll put Yuri into hand here to save. And then we can keep going. Let's just hope that they don't draw anything absurdly busted. They drop a Vizier. We cannot kill Vizier because we unfortunately need. So, do we ultimate Nahiri here? I think we ultimate Nahiri. We ultimate Nahiri. Because Nahiri can get us a Niv that's hasty. Niv will draw us some cards. Take the Prismari command. We'll play the land that gives us a thing here. Uh, oh yeah, this is great now. So we'll go to combat, attack with everything. This will hit for 11. If he doesn't block, he's dead. Okay, he's just straight up dead. But what we could have done is used Yurion to flicker the board. Yeah, he really shouldn't have... Uh, 
We should have blocked it. Okay, so this is what we need to do here. We need to literally murder every creature he plays. Or the ley line, if we can. Alright. So, we have Fatal Push, we have a Verdict, we have an Assassin's Trophy. I am happy to keep this. So we are probably going to go Verdant. Okay, yeah, now we need to kill everything he plays here. Elvish Mystic, yes, that's quite interesting. We are going to actually shock this in, fatal push this. We need to ensure that nothing he plays lives. Bird of Paradise. Uh, how do we feel about leaving the bird alive? I don't trust it enough. Alright, so we'll stop in his upkeep. I mean, Assassin's Trophy could take out the ley line of abundance. Yeah, you know what? Right now, killing this takes away f two mana. Because using the ley lines together he could tap for free mana so this gives him one mana so technically it's mana neutral but it's not mana neutral because it prevents him from getting free basically mana dryad arbor alright so we need to destroy that dryad arbor as well so we need red or blue here Probably red. Let's get a red while we're on. And we will deal two damage to this, and I will create a treasure token. So, yeah, this is a cool deck they've got, but it just seems to like struggle if we just literally don't let them. Ooh, Nick Foss. Alright, so we got lucky here, we top decked into Niv. So let's get. Uh, do we want the basic? I think we want to get basics because we don't want to hurt ourselves too much. Let's go white, blue, and green. Cast Niv. See what Niv finds us off the top. Alright, Cyclonic Rift. I get to recast my Niv. I'm not afraid of that. Get two more removal spells. So they're just concerned because they don't want to. Cyclonic Rift is an interesting choice. Nope, they concede. Yep, so we basically just... Whatever this deck was trying to do, it was clearly just trying to link creatures with Leyline of Abundance, and in the matches where we had removal, it was just game over. 